Okay, here we go, everyone. Uh, how, how are you guys doing? So uh, first and foremost, there's a couple more people who come in. Okay, just in case you're wondering how to get the sound to work. Okay, that I'm going to show you guys how to do it in a nutshell. I actually sent out an email uh, just today on how to get the, the, the sound to work. So it's going to be like this. There's an this email that I wrote to, uh, earlier today. Uh, I'm going to just open up this email and then flash on the screen. Uh, if you guys are good, just say I'm good right now. Yeah, I, I can hear fine. Uh, it's working. But otherwise, I'm going to take a little bit of time to go through this list to make sure that everyone can hear it just fine. Okay, so someone said, <clears throat> some people might be saying like, no sound. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in the chat right now. Can you all hear me? <clears throat> okay, so I wrote down an email today uh, saying this. Uh, all right, so common problems. If you cannot hear, go to the audio section. You're gonna see something that looks like this on your screen. Go to the audio section. Make sure you select mic and speakers. Okay, make sure you select mic and speakers, and that that's going to enable all of you guys to hear. Okay, and uh, also if you wish to interact, um, we have a chat function. We have a chat function. We also have a questions function. So if you have any questions, you can actually post it there. And there's also like a, a hand raising tool. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick screenshot right now. Like uh, what, what, what you're going to see on your screen is going to be just like this. So on the top right of your screen, you're going to be seeing, like, uh, if you have that panel, if it's not minimized, it's going to look like this. You have a hand-raising tool. So you can click that hand-raising tool and ask a question. And that is going to enable me to get back to you. I'm not going to be constantly check. I'm not going to be constantly checking it, but I'll be checking it at uh, various intervals throughout the presentation. And uh, to see today as a very casual training and, you know, kind of like a, you know, a, a, a forum, okay, a forum where you get to ask anything you want to know uh, and get to ask any, clear, get to clear any doubts that you may have about binary options trading. So let me move on to a little bit of an introduction about myself and what we're going to be covering today. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be putting a slideshow back on and let me get the, uh, I'm going to get the door closed as well. But, but as I mentioned, um, I'm actually in the midst of a house party. It was kind of cool. Uh, me and a couple of internet marketers. Uh, can you see my Can you see my screen yet? Okay, I, I'm putting my I'm putting my camera on. Okay, so if you can if you can see, let me know. So do 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 do, do you see the screen coming on yet? Okay, cool. All right, so I'm actually in this house party, and we just had. We just had like an awesome, just had an awesome meal prepared by one of our business partners, and this is like, the, I mean, the, all the people that you've seen in this in this little house party, pretty much like the who's and who, the who's who of the the local, I mean, the Singapore seminar industry. So we recently been running several events in Singapore and Malaysia. You probably recognize Jazz. Uh, that's that's Wayne, and Alvin. You might have seen some of his advertisements in a different niche. Uh, Alvin's wife over there, and uh, Donald, one of our, one of our support uh, team members, and. Uh, Nicholas, right here, uh, one of our, one of my top business partners as well uh, in one of the ventures that I'm doing. But today, I'm not here to talk about our seminar business. I'm here to talk about binary options trading. I'm going to be turning off the the cam right now and uh, get back into this presentation. I'm going to close the door as well so you can hear me a little bit better. So, one of the things I like about this is that you know you can actually do binary options trading just about any time. It's a, it's a life. It's very lifestyle. It's very fun. It's very easy. Um, you don't spend a lot of time on the computer, and uh, that's what I like. I like about it. it's a lifestyle freedom, basically. I'm gonna turn my camera off. Get back to the screen. So here we go. Okay. So today, um, do this thing here. All right. So today, what you're gonna learn is what is binary options. How is binary options different from other investments and trading tools? Why binary options? and common newbie pitfalls and how to av avoid them. As you guys know, I've been running Binary Lab. Um, what are you, okay, a lot of you guys may have watched me on YouTube or, on or seen me on Facebook. Some of you may have came across this webinar because of a registration uh, that was going on uh, through a Facebook ad that we're running. So um, I've been running a binary options training group for the past two and a half years, and 
I have a very, very good idea of what exactly newbies face. All right, what kind of problems they face, what kind of bad habits they have, and how to avoid them. I have the plans for you today, and you're going to get to learn all that. Um, and you're going to get to learn. I, th I think this is one of the big reasons why a lot of people have come to this webinar today, because you want to learn how to safely grow a humble fire law deposit into 79,201 bucks fortune in six months or less. I know 79,201 bucks may not be a lot of money for some of you here, but in terms of reward versus risk, that's awesome. It's something that I've never seen before in any other investments that I've been involved in. Through the years, I've been involved in stocks, warrants. A lot of you guys on this webinar are either Singaporean or Malaysian because I've, that's where I cater my advertisement to. Um, and I've been involved in local warrants. Uh, that was a lot better than stocks. But at the same time, nothing compared to this. Nothing compared to this at all. I've been involved in Forex. I've been involved in CFDs, not so much. Properties, yes. But what you're going to find out is that this is one of the quickest ways to amass a huge fortune fast. All right. It's not a get rich quick scheme, but I'm going to be covering what exactly binary options is. And you guys will get to ask questions uh, to clarify any doubts that you may have anytime. So let me run through who am I? This is me when my son was just born. So my, my, my son is going to be three years old next month. So that makes this three years ago. Three years ago, I was down and out. Um, as you can see in this picture, this was, um, you know, I, I look really shabby. I'm not too proud of my chicken hairstyle today. I'm honestly like a bare ha hair day, if you guys saw me just on the camera. But three years ago, I was down and out. At that point in time, in fact, for 10 years, I was, since I'm 31 this year, since I was 18, I was a part time tennis coach. Um, after I finished my college degree, the I, I actually got a, a bank manager, no, a bank relationship manager job in one of the banks, the local banks. And the day that I was supposed to go for my briefing for the job training, the day before that, Lehman Brothers crisis happened and I was called that I did not have to come down. The position was suspended. And in fact, uh, the job rates were going to get cut. So I went on coaching tennis um, and, and did fairly okay. I, in fact, I was uh, because I, I knew about internet marketing. Uh, some of you guys know that I've been quite prominent internet marketing as well. You may have heard of me. And I used those skills to drive a lot of customers to my tennis business. And because of that, I was able to make a lot of money running after school programs uh, for a lot of international school kids and uh, tennis camps during the weekends. So business was great until, until about three years ago. Uh, that's when there was a little bit of global warming. From October, I think it was 2000 and one was it 2001 no 2012 oh god I'm, I'm, I'm lost yeah 2012 uh there was like a global warming that lasted for about half a year and and it was raining every day almost every day i think those of you might remember if you're from singapore malaysia you probably remember that time when it was raining just about every day it was impossible to do the business and yet at the same time uh the people who rented me my venues, they they were they were they were really cruel because they wanted their money whether I could conduct my business or not. And I basically decided that enough was enough. I I I couldn't afford to have a haircut at the time, and because I was quite frustrated, I also binge ate. That's something that a lot of people do when they're frustrated, right? So I gained a little bit of weight. I could only fit into like clothes when I was back in a teenager when I was kind of overweight. And <clears throat> as you can see, it's, it's mismatching, color mismatched, uh, general sloppy and tired. And uh, it was a horrible time. This was something a bit more recent. Uh, when my haircut was, you know, in, in, in more of a just cut, it was more proportionate. <laughs> you can, uh, as you can see. So, <clears throat> uh, like the quality of life is totally different. It's uh, nowadays. It's well, although we still eat, we still we still drink, we still 
travel. Uh, we still go for holidays, but now we're talking about better holidays, talking about better food, uh, better clothes, um, better way of life. Not because not because we have to, but because we can. Okay. I, I encourage you guys that if any of you out here, I know some of you are businessmen, some of you are doing great in your respective careers already, and you don't even need binary options, but you're curious about what it can do for you. But for some of you out there who have been who are down and out, just as I've been down and out, well this could be something for you. Okay. So um I get to spend a lot of time with my kids nowadays. I used to be a professional tennis coach, but now I enjoy taking time to teach my kids how to play tennis. And, it, and I, I, I enjoy having the time and freedom to be able to take them to you know places outside rather than just being stuck at home, between home and school, um, where you, you must agree with me that you cannot possibly give them a good learning experience in life. So consequently, my kids are very outspoken, and uh, my son is going to be starting school in January. But for my daughter, all, all the teachers say that she's one of the most outspoken students in class. So I'm a single dad. If you haven't gathered that already, I mean, uh, my wife was not in the picture, my ex-wife rather. And in fact, my motivation for becoming successful um, was because I wanted to provide the best for my son. I felt totally dejected that he could not have uh, an A-class delivery. And uh, I, I also, at the same time, I had problems with my, my ex-wife at the time. And the only way that I could have custody of my two kids was if I could prove that, you know, I'm a good person, I'm responsible, I'm financially capable, and the kids have a better likelihood uh, about uh, the likelihood of having a good livelihood with me rather than my ex-wife. And, and you know, at the end of the day, uh, the good news is, as of the 22nd of December, exactly a week ago from today, I am officially divorced with full custody of both kids. I, I would actually ask for a round of applause at this point of time, but, um, well, <laughs> this is an online event, so that's not probably possible. So I'm best known as a binary options trader and a master trainer. Some of you who have seen my YouTube videos who have known how I've taken a very small balance account, like 10,000, to in excess of $2 million. I've spoken at several events in Singapore, Malaysia, United States, and Europe. Uh, I'm talking about Germany. And generally speaking, at these events, I talk about binary options trading because it's something that no one out there, apart from myself, um, you know, it's actually doing it in a theoretical, logical way. So far to now, you must agree with me that binary options trading has been touted as some kind of a get-rich-quick scheme. But for me, it's not. Okay, So I'm the main YouTube, authority feature, uh, main YouTube authority figure on binary options in Asia and around the world with 9,000 plus subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you go on YouTube and search for Julian Wong or search for the professional bomb or search for the binary lab, you'll probably see a lot of my binary options videos. Uh, what I've done differently from a lot of people online is that I have uh, gone to the extent of talking about every possible thing that a newbie trader could, could face, be it mindset, be it uh, questions, you know, and I, I've, done, I've done videos on just about every topic under the sun on binary options trading because I thought that, you know, if I knew these things when I started out, I would be in a much better place much faster. And the good news is, by being here today, you have an opportunity of being in a much better place much faster than I did. So I conduct daily webinars on binary options trading. Well, not, not today, but on most days, okay? Um, I'll also be telling you later on how you can get on my daily webinars too. So when I hold daily webinars, I have over 200 people in attendance every single time. And that's a, a major feat that even a lot of professional speakers, professional webinar hosts cannot achieve. And I do that on a daily basis, sometimes twice a day. So I've made over $2 million online. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, a little later how, how I've done that. 
um, true binary options trading. And uh, in the meantime, let, let me continue with the slides. So this is me in Las Vegas. I know it's not the it's not the best photo, but it was one of the photos that I received, and uh, <clears throat> that was me opening up um, a presentation on binary options trading. So this was at the Hush Hush Secrets of the Ultra Wish and Wealthy, <clears throat> and uh, speaking to a crowd of over 300 people uh, who are interested in personal finance, business, uh, business in general, and ways to invest in money. Okay. And this was at an event in Anaheim, uh, California, also talking about binary options trading. This was, in fact, like a, a, breakout, a breakout speech. This was uh, the, at Las Vegas. We had a binary lab meetup, and members from around the world actually flew down to attend this event. Um, over here, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think you can see my mouse. Okay, you can't. So uh, this is Ming. She she flew from Malaysia. Uh, Stephen is somewhere in this picture, probably behind. Um, <clears throat> the gentleman over here uh, flew over from Canada. Stephen's right here. The the one the guy with the black hair. <clears throat> he comes to our, our Singapore meetups as well. And uh, we have people like Yan is somewhere in the background as well. Didn't capture everyone. Uh, we have a guy who flew over from uh, Barbados. Okay, we have a guy who flew over from Sweden to attend this event. So I was touched that uh, that when I announced that I'll be at the event, people actually flew out to to see me. This was a Singapore meetup. So um, a lot of my local members are are there. I actually have over two hundred members uh, who trade binary options as part of my group in Singapore, and out of that. Uh, 200 plus local members in Singapore. Uh, there were about 60 people in this room. This was just about two months ago. And after that, we had a party where I booked a VIP section of uh, one of the clubs, uh, where where I I opened I opened bottles of basically drinks on me, and everyone could just come and enjoy and chill out. And uh, you know, after a session of theory and uh, practical, uh, they could actually come and pick my brain about mindset and uh, how to get started and and any other questions that they may, have, they may have. This was in Malaysia, uh, Kuala Lumpur, just uh, two weeks ago. Um, was it two weeks ago? No, it was, it was 14, no, 15. No, sorry, 19 of December. That was, yeah, that was about 10 days ago. Uh, this was something different. I was talking about internet marketing. There was a huge audience as well. It was about 250 people or so. <clears throat> and, uh, well, one of, the, one of the things about trading is that it's enabled me to to kind of follow my follow my dreams, pursue my goals. Do any of you have a dream when you were young that you wanted to do, but as life caught up with you, you felt that, well, it doesn't make too much sense. It's not one of those things that, you know, to write home about. It's not one of those things that's going to make you rich. It's not logical. It's not viable. It's not economically sustainable. So one of my goals as a kid was to be a singer. And I've never had the professional training uh, and with the time freedom of finally being able to work seven hours a week. Okay, I currently work about seven hours a week because I have about six staff uh, working for me, you know, virtual workers uh, around, the, around the globe. And that enables me to, to just focus on what I do best, which is trade and, and conduct trading sessions online on how to trade. So effectively, I work about seven hours a week, and during the rest of the time, I was able to seek out training so I could become a better singer and take dance classes and stuff. This is actually this is actually for a music video shoot. It's going to be released in Thailand in about three months from now. So <clears throat> as you can see, um, this was back in okay. This was taken about three four weeks ago, and at that point in time, uh, these are some of my videos, uh, my top ranked videos on on YouTube. And I have many more videos on YouTube that are, are catching up with the numbers, actually like a, a dominating force. Um, one of the differences between me and a lot of people is that I'm real. A lot of people are just a, a pseudonym uh, hiding behind some computer and they release some little piece of crap software. Um, some of you here today might even want to be here. Some of you here today are here because you want to understand why is it you just couldn't make money 
buying those binary options auto trade robots online so i'm different from a lot of people in the sense that i trade i'm a real person i i don't i don't um shy away from showing my face this was me doing affiliate world asia it's a conference in bangkok and uh, at a point of time one of the members um from my thailand binary options group wanted to come and meet me because she wanted to promote binary lab in thailand and by the way if any of you guys here are interested in opening a local market i'm highly i'm highly motivated to support you so she wanted to see if i really knew my stuff and she came over to uh to watch me trade so i said fine I'm, i'll be gonna i'll be doing my webinar for the london session at this time at this coffee bean in central world there's a hotel where we had the affiliate world asia event Feel free to come and watch me trade. So as you can see, that's my electric wheel. I get around in Thailand on my electric wheel a lot because it's always so traffic jam. And we have a couple of trades here that are just about a minute away from winning. So <clears throat> these trades were just about 2 minutes and 37 seconds to expiry. And uh, it's, a floating, it's a floating gain of 23200 Uh The actual profit is... I would say 9,100 per trade minus 5,000. So that's 4,001 times three. So that's about 12,300 uh, in pro actual profit. So that's that's my chart system. I'm going to be showing you a little bit of that in this webinar. And uh, I, with that, I'm going to be moving on into what is binary options, okay? So at this point of time, um, I know some of you are going to be having some questions in no time from now. Would it be a great idea if I could create a Facebook group like right now that you guys on this webinar to search and join that group and be able to post that questions here. Of course, you can post questions on the site here uh, if you want to, and uh, I, I would I'll be able to answer them. But you know, at the same time, how many of you think it's probably a better idea if I had a Facebook group so that you guys could uh, interact online right now during this webinar? Great. Uh, let me just do that. So give me a moment. I'm going to do that right now. Oh, this was another live trading session as well. Actually, uh, this was a member from Canada. Um, he's a professional uh, advanced driving trainer from Mercedes Benz. So he deals with all those, um, all those you know, fast cars like the the uh, Mercedes F1, the SLS, and and all the AMG range and all that. And uh, he was in Singapore with his girlfriend, um, and he wanted to watch me trade because he, you know, he's interested in trading this in a very big way. So I said, okay, fine, let's, let's meet up, let's do a live training session. Okay, uh, not to digress, let me show you what I want to show you. Um, <clears throat> this is my Facebook profile. I'm a real person, you can find me. You can actually add me. Um, you can add me, like send me a friend request. I'm not sure if Facebook's gonna allow you to send me a friend request, but um, you can. So send me a friend request if you like to, and uh, or follow me, I have a binary lab page as well. And apart from that, uh, the, the thing that you want to, uh, I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to the home feed. I'm going to create a group so that you can actually join right now and uh, get involved with. So binary lab welcome session. Okay, so search for binary lab welcome session. So I, I'm going to create this group like right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add the other me. <laughs> My admin. And I'm gonna create. I'm just gonna put some logo here. What do I? What do I let me pick. That looks quite cool. Okay, let's pick that. All right. So, um, you guys, if you guys want to get into this group right now. Uh, just go on Facebook, type in binary light welcome session, and I'm and your your request is gonna end up on my screen in moments. Okay, so just type that in. Okay. <clears throat> so keep on joining this group. I'm gonna check in check in from time to time, and uh, I'm gonna go through a few more slides. Come back here to check out this group once again. It's binary light welcome session. Type that in binary light welcome session. And uh, I'm going to be adding you in real soon. So um, I'm going to get back to this page. If more requests show up, uh, keep those keep those requests coming in. 
Let me get back to my slides in the meantime. Okay, June, I'm going to add you as well. Hey Herman, nice to see you. It's been a while. Okay, I'm going to check this back in. <laughs> yeah, this is this is quite fast. So keep them coming. I'm going to be checking back real soon. I'm going to create a questions thread at the same time. So post questions as a comment to this post so that the answers, so that the questions and answers are going to remain here for even after we end today's webinar. Okay, so let's do that and uh, keep on coming. All right, <clears throat> let's move on. So back to the slides again. <laughs> okay, back to the slides right now. What is binary options? Bi why binary options? It's easy. There's no need to complicate with lot sizes, take profits, stop losses. And you know what? I I'm sure a lot of people here on this webinar trade Forex or stocks or CFDs. And all of you are guilty of that one thing that I've been guilty too, which is shifting your stop loss. You must be thinking when you look at those charts, it's going to turn. It's going to turn. If I shift it a little bit more, it's going to be just above that support line and it's going to turn. But does it? Well, maybe. Maybe not. But what happens is that you have a take profit in the end of 9 pips and your stop loss is like 35. Horrible risk-reward ratio. So even if you, even if you had a 70% accuracy, in those 30% that you're losing the full 35 pips, it's like way more than the profits of 9 pips that you're making. So binary options does away with all the problems associated with shifting your stop loss. Capital protection. In binary options, you never risk more than your trade amount. Okay, this is like a double-edged sword. In binary options trading, <clears throat> Many of your trades is going to make you between, depending on the broker of course, 60% to 91%. What does that mean? If you put 100 bucks on your trade and if you win the trade, I'm going to show you in a while how to win trades and, and how, do you, how to determine whether trades won or lost. Okay, But if you win the trade, you can get from between 60 bucks to 91 bucks as a profit okay so that's if you put a hundred bucks down on a trade the, the the cool thing is even if it moves by a little bit even if it moves by the fifth decimal place like you know how like forex trading goes by the fourth or fifth decimal places nowadays right nano pips that's enough to win a trade even if it's like a you know 0.1 on the fifth decimal place that's still a win. You still get a full $91 profit on the $100 trade. And the, on the flip side, um, it's a double edged sword because if there's going to be an economic um, uproar, elections, maybe Swiss National Bank decided to do something funny again. You know how Swiss National Bank likes to do funny stuff? If you guys trade Forex, you know exactly what I mean. Because once in a while, ever so often, I say ever so often because you never know when, they say that they might do something with the interest rates or with the currency. Um, and, and there could be a full five cent jump. Five cents a lot. Five cents like 500 pips or 5,000 nano pips. You know, sorry, 5,000 pips or 50,000 nano pips occurring within minutes. And that's going to make you either very rich or very poor in Forex if you pick the right direction or wrong direction. Did you know that there were brokers that actually had to write off losses 
sometimes because of that. So, do you know why the brokers had to close down? So, on the flip side, with binary options trading, if you trade it in the correct direction during an economic uproar, you only get between the sixty, the promised sixty to ninety-one percent that was agreed upon before the trade. And if you lose, you know, you lose just that hundred bucks. You're not going to risk your whole account. There's not going to be like a um, availability problem that causes. Uh, a, a huge price jump to jump over your stop loss. Okay, so sometimes you get that in other kinds of trading, but not in binary. That's what I love about it. And <clears throat> small capital, you can start with just as little as two hundred bucks. You can start with two hundred and fifty bucks. Some brokers even allow you to start with like thirty bucks or a hundred bucks. But I mean, that's that, there's there's no way starting with thirty bucks or a hundred bucks is going to make you rich. But what I meant to say is that you can, okay? And for those who are Chinese, there's a saying, yi xiao bo da. Yi xiao bo da. So it's, what it means is that it's using a small amount to bid for a fortune. Binary options allow you to do that. I have a student, he was in one of my pictures, that was, able, was started out with 250 bucks. There's actually a lot of testimonials on my website. He started with 250 bucks. And within three days, he traded up to fifteen hundred bucks. So I told him to get out of here. Um, and then from that point, he traded up to five thousand. He traded five thousand to hundred thousand, and within six months, he turned two hundred fifty bucks into one point seven million. I also have another student recently, also from Singapore. Uh, he had a strategy developed from the webinars that he's been attending because I once talked about arbitrage scalping okay so he he created an arbitrage scalping strategy based on indices and he was able to trade thirty five hundred dollars or three thousand five hundred dollars into eight hundred thousand in three months so that is the power my friends of buying versus trading and the best part is you can do that in very little time i don't trade more than 90 minutes a day on many days, I don't even trade more than one hour. In fact, the times that I trade is when I do the live webinars on a proper trading webinar, not not an introduction webinar like this, but on a on those webinars that I do several times a week that you can get on. I'll be telling you how to get on my live trading webinars, and you can you can literally trade with me at those times when I'm making my money. You can make your money too. Okay. So what is binary options? Binary means two or duo. Okay, uh, let me let me get back to the group because I, I can sense that people are going to start asking questions around about now. So I'm going to get back to the Facebook group and accept more of you into that Facebook group. I'll be right back onto this thing real soon. Okay, so uh, let me get more requests into this group. Okay. All right, so once again, if you have any questions, you can post them uh, as a comment to this post, okay? And, and, and just keep on requesting to join the group as and when, and uh, <clears throat> I'll add you in. If not now, later on, okay? So back to the slides again. Binary means two or duo, okay? So there are only two options that you can pick. It's going to be a call option, which means that you think that the, the price is going to move up, or a put option, which, which basically uh, is, expresses that you are betting. Okay, I, I, I dare use the word betting, okay? Because at the end of the day, all trading, including binary trading, is speculative. So we are speculating it's going to go down. You do a put option. So it's either you do a call option, thinking it's going to go up, or you do a put option uh, that expresses that you think it's going to go down. And all you need to win a trade is to pick the right direction, we're not done yet, in the selected expiry time. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to quickly show you what that is uh, by opening you know, one of my trading accounts. So, 
This is the trading account that I use and you <laughs> I bet you someone's going to ask, why do you have so much money in your account? Well, uh, that's another story for another day, but in a nutshell, um, I'm going to be drawing it very soon because I am now single, officially single dad. So anyways, um, a lot of what I do is based on turbo short-term trading. So the account balance hasn't showed up, it usually shows up here, but it doesn't matter. So. Uh, these are the different kinds of trades that you can do, like 30 second trades, 60 second trades, 90 second trades, 2 minute trades, 300 second trades. Okay, 300 seconds is about 5 minutes. And then if beyond that, you can go to this other tab and you could do something that expires 12 minutes from now. You could do something that expires, you know, um, about, around about half an hour from now, the top of the hour. This is GMT timing, okay? So look at this timing here. Uh, it's 9.18 where I'm at. It's 1.18 p.m. in GMT. And uh, you can pick like a two hour expiry. You can pick the end of day expiry as well. So these are the various options that you can do. And there's even things like long term as well. But you know what? When you look at all these trades, okay? When you look at all these possibilities and permutations, you notice one thing, the payouts are the same or almost the same no matter what expiry time you pick. So does it make more sense, does it make more sense or less sense to take more trades? Okay, these ones pay a little bit less. Okay, these ones pay about 70%. If I do a 5 minute trade, it pays 67%. If I do a 30 second trade, it pays 60%. Does it make sense? Would it make more sense if we could do more of these short-term trades in less time? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to place a $5 trade with no analysis. Okay, With no analysis, I'm placing this trade. If I win, you will see how fast I've gained 70% on my money. If I lose this trade, you're going to see how fast... Uh, you know, I have, or rather, you're going to see that I've only lost five bucks and not more. So, <clears throat> this is the power of binary options trading. And it so happens that it's working out quite well. So, there's a countdown, there's a 30 second countdown on this trade that I'm placing. So, I place this trade at 74, uh, at 0 0.72746. Let me magnify my screen for you. Okay. This was my entry price. So at 13, 19, 32 seconds GMT, around about one minute ago, I placed it at this price, and the current price is two pips higher. But even if it went from 746 to 747, it is still a win. And right now, I have turned that five bucks into 850. What if, and in fact you do, now have the tool to turn five dollars into 850 every minute well i mean that's just one way of saying it because not every trade is going to be a valid trade there are ways to determine when it's the best time to trade and when it's not the best time to trade and that i teach you how to do that but isn't it powerful that now you have a way of making a 70 percent gain on your investment in just 60 seconds, 60 seconds, one minute, several times an hour. Is that powerful to you? It doesn't just end there. I could even do a $500 trade, but there's no way I'm going to do a $500 trade without analyzing it first. And I'm going to give you one more tip. In what I teach my students, two minutes is the best optimal time frame for trading. Generally speaking, two minutes is the best time frame. Why? Because the, the payout is good, 
Uh, and there's also a price behavior that I observed that always happens when you do that two minute trade. Okay, so I'm going to talk more about that later on. If you have any questions at this point, be sure to, be, be sure to ask them. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to the uh, I'm going to go back to the Facebook group and uh, just go on to that binary lab welcome session. <clears throat> and if anyone else is asking to join this group, I'm going to add you in right now. Is this great info? Is this great info so far? Is is am I giving you some nice insights? Okay, so uh, comment below if you find uh, this webinar or you find this info exciting to you. Okay, and I'm going to get back into the webinar right now. So. Uh, what can you trade? You can already see from my screen. But I'm just going to run that through once, once and again. Okay, you can trade forex change. Forex exchange is currencies. Okay, forex. You can trade indices like Nasdaq, Standard Poor's, CAC. That's a Canadian thing. Hang Seng. That's a Hong Kong uh, exchange. Um, the Saudi Arabian. That one you can do as well. Okay, Tadawo. I think that's what it's called. Precious metals: gold, platinum, silver. You can even do oil, okay? You can even do e-currency like Bitcoin. You can trade on binary options. Some of you think that you missed the boat with Bitcoin. I know I missed the boat. The only problem is that I don't have a reliable Bitcoin chart that I can put my favorite indicators on. If there was a way, I would do that. You can trade popular stocks like Apple or Google, etc. So even if, okay, even if you didn't have all right, let's, uh, let's not talk about didn't have. Let's say the price of Apple right now is what? 100 and something, right? Let, I don't know, let, let's, let's get out of this for a little bit to find out what the price of Apple is right now. I, I think it's probably going to be here as well. So let, let's, let's have a look. <coughs> it's probably here. I think it's not available at this time. Apple. Usually is. Um, never mind. I'm gonna go to like Yahoo. Um, like APR share price. So Apple is now 106 82. Supposing we had the launch of the Apple iPhone 7. Okay. If you had launched an Apple iPhone 7, what do you think is going to happen? Stock's going to go up, right? But what if... Okay, so if stock's going to go up, what's going to happen is that when you get in at 106.82, you'll, uh, if you just bought one share, okay? Nowadays, I think you got to buy one share. But in the, there was a time where you had to buy a certain number of shares, like 50 or 100 at least. And the question is, not everyone has the money to do that. On top of that, whether you buy a little or a lot, you have to pay an in and out commission, a commission to enter the trade, a broker for, a broker rate, okay, a brokerage fee, going in and coming out as well. So your actual cost, let's say if you just bought one share for uh, for conversation's sake, you pay ten bucks to go in, ten bucks to get out, and before you even make a profit, you are you already need it to go from one hundred six eighty two to one twenty six eighty two. To be a break even, and if you move less than that, what are you gonna do? Shift your stop loss, buy to hold. What if it drops? What if Samsung comes out and ambushes Apple yet again? Share price drops by twenty, drops from one hundred six eighty two to eighty six eighty two, and you still had to pay that ten dollars in, ten dollars out, and that's a total loss of forty bucks. If you just bought one share, but look at it. If if you did binary option, if you did binary option, you only have to place. Uh, you can you can trade for like five bucks or even twenty five bucks depending on the broker. And the 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 best part is, if you win, you get seventy five percent. You get eighty percent. You get ninety percent depending on the broker. And if you lose, you only lose at twenty five bucks. 
So your risk reward ratio in binary is so much higher than, than stocks. And that's what I love about binary. One of the many things. So um, let's get back into this one. Three important variables. You need to pick the correct direction. You need to pick an expiry time that will work in your favor. Could be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, could be 2 minutes, could be 5 minutes, could be 10 minutes, could be 15, 30, 45, 60, 2 hours, and a day, 1 week, 1 month. But why do that? I like to do the first few. I rarely trade more than 60 minutes. Most of the time, I trade 2 minutes, sometimes a 10, sometimes a 30, sometimes a 60. Rarely go beyond that. So, the best part is this, you have a strategy and I teach you how to trade. I have strategies for you that's going to enable you to independently pick out winning trades. And you can pick the expiry time that is best suited for your trade setup so that you can win it. You don't want to give it too much time so that the trade goes in the money and then goes out of the money. You don't want to give it too little time that the trade can barely move. You want to give it just enough time to hang in that zone. What I like to tell people when I explain binary options trading in, in foreign meetups is that a lot of people will look at a financial chart. Okay, A lot of people will look at a financial chart. I'm going to open up some financial charts like right now. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got my financial charts open. Just waiting for a couple of moments because it does take some time to load. It's a little bit computer, it's a bit CPU intensive. And by the way, okay, so if you wanted to trade binary options, one of the things you need is a MetaTrader account. You just need a demo account because we're not doing live forex trading. We're only doing binary. We're doing live binary trading on a forex uh, platform. Okay, so using this for charts and studies. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna open a plain chart. It just gives us a bit more time to load. It does take a while sometimes, especially when we have a lot of things running. So, and by the way, I'm not gonna be doing any live trades today. I I done one, one sixty second trade, but that's all I'm gonna do today because uh, until the fourth, when I resume my sessions. I do not plan to do any any live trades because it gets really messy, okay? And it's not worth it. In the meantime, let me get back to while well, waiting for for that to load properly. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you some of the trades I've done and and like uh, let's say if you would pick this platform, um, you can actually look at your expired positions as well. And you can see um, the expiry chart. It shows you what price you went in and what price it finished at. So what I mean to say, and actually this is a, I, I can just use this to illustrate my point. Okay. It may have went down against you, but it eventually went up. And although it came down, okay, this is what I mean by giving it too much time for this trade. So the trade started like way back there. Spend a little bit of time with Ding Dong, but in the end it won. A win is a win. Some trades will come very close. I'm trying to show you some of those trades that come really close. Okay, I think only the recent ones I can show the expiry chart, not every one. So some will come very close. Uh, let, let, let me show you on this one instead. This is timing working. Okay, it's working fine. Okay, so what often happens is that I will pick a trade. I'll pick a two-minute trade roundabout, you know, maybe thereabouts, maybe. But today's chart looks sucky. I wouldn't trade today. I'll tell you in a moment why, okay? 
but let's assume that this wasn't a 15 minute chart, this was like a 1 minute chart. I'll probably do a 2 minute trade very, very soon. Okay, very, very soon I'll do a 2 minute trade. And then, when I win that trade, as soon as I win that trade, the next thing that happens is what? It's going to go all the way down. Okay, so maybe for one bar it's going to be here, next bar is going to be here, and now it's going to go all the way down. And the people are going to be telling me, Julian, did you know how badly the Euro USD plunged after that trade that you did? What I'm going to tell them is that it doesn't matter. It's none of, uh, it's not your business. It's not, it's not my business. Most importantly, because this is a binary option, I picked the expiry time that will work in my favor. Why did I do a 2-minute trade? Why did I do a 10-minute trade? Why do I do a 30-minute trade? Because I felt that that expiry time is going to work in my favor. If I did a longer trade, if I did it just 3 minutes instead of 2 minutes, if I did it 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes, if I did it 45 instead of 30, I may not have got the same result. I could have lost. And that's why I will, uh, it's very important that once you understand binary options, and the methods that I have, you'll find out that it's actually really, really easy to win as long as you stick to the game plan. Okay? So as promised, I'm going to show you how to identify when to trade. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take a blank chart. A blank chart like this with nothing on it so that you can you can uh, look at this and, and uh, I can tell you just how to look at it, all right, how to analyze it. So um, this is just some basics. What I, the, the one thing that I do all the time is that I will draw the point when the broker time, okay, the broker time, uh, you know, like, it doesn't matter. It, it may not be the same as the, the, the I mean, the, the, the chart time may not be the same as, as, as my, my trading thing. This is like 13.34 right now. But on my platform, right now it is, what is this time? It is 15.45. Doesn't matter. At the zero, zero mark. But of course it's best if you use the same platform as me. I know that this is the start of today. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to identify, okay, this is the 15 minute chart. Okay, so firstly, draw a horizontal line at the zero, zero mark for today. The, the mark between yesterday and today. And then you want to draw a horizontal line to mark the daily high and another horizontal line to mark the daily low. Okay, why is this so important? Let me tell you. If it is a daily high or daily low, if the if the high the daily high or daily low is being defined right now, right now the daily low would you agree is being defined? Seconds ago it was pushing three seven six, now it's bounced back a little bit. Would you agree with me it's being defined? If if the daily low is being defined, I would then check. Okay, I would I would number one. Okay, it's being defined again. It's being redefined. Look at that. It's being redefined. So now it's now it's this. Now, I think it's getting a little bit exciting for you guys. And you know what? Um, I'll observe. Because that may be even valid conditions for a trade. Like this one, we have support and resistance as well. So I, I do teach how to look at support and resistance. I teach you how to, uh, I teach you various things. <clears throat> you even see a price gap here. And now it's still being defined. Now, whenever it is pushing daily high or daily low, do not take trades any shorter than 15 minutes. In fact, do not take trades, if you want to be safe, do not take trades any shorter than half an hour. So all, although I said 2 minutes is my favorite, so on and so forth, even though you have 30 seconds, even though you have this and this and that, do not do those. Stick with the game plan. Stick with only 30 minutes and longer. And when you do a counter trend trade, I tell you it's going to be hole in one, maximum hole in two. That is one of the really, really cool things about it. Okay? 
One of the strategies, I'll give you a hint, not the full shebang about the strategy, but this one, this one of the strategies is daily low. But, okay, so if it's daily low, do not, like I said, daily low, daily high, do not trade the lower time frames. Do not trade anything less than 30 minutes. Um, but, there is also an additional condition. If it's a daily high low, you must see, is it the lowest low of the, if it's a low, is it the lowest low of the past three days, five days, a week? Or is it not? If it's, is it somewhere in between? So right now we can see that no doubt it is it is within the range. I mean, uh, no doubt is the, the daily low, but it's not the lowest low of the past three days. What this means to me is that I'm going to look at the 15 minute bar and I'm going to be putting on some of my favorite indicators. Okay, I have, I have some favorite indicators that you saw a little bit of it just now. And based on that, <clears throat> if all conditions fit my uh, analysis, I'm also going to look a little bit higher time frame and I'm going to be doing a 30 minute trade on this one. I'll be doing a 30 minute call trade. <clears throat> because this is this is a date is a daily low that is not a weekly low. This is one of the strategies that has been very very powerful uh, during these times of the year. Okay, just giving you a little bit of a hint. So I have the full works on that, but I'm in, I, you know, I, oh my god, I'm looking at this trade. I'm so tempted to do something with it. Terribly tempted. In seven minutes, we'll know if it's good or not. Okay, I I might do a live trade. I might do a live trade. <laughs> so, um, now let's get back to this one. I, I've just given you an example. Uh, in this slides, I also say the third condition is pick your trades during a time where there is reasonable volatility. What is reasonable volatility? Movement. Okay. Is there a lot of movement in a, in a given direction? Or is it useless oscillation? What is useless oscillation? Useless oscillation is when a price goes nowhere for minutes on end. Would you agree with me that if you placed any trades during this period of time, it would have been very difficult to win? If I narrowed it down to that, that's just a fifth decimal Six nano pip range that you could possibly win or lose a trade. And if you time your trades at the start or end of the minute, that makes it extra difficult. Super, super tough. I wouldn't trade in times like that. This is what I call a staircase. Never trade staircases. Because when you see a staircase, it's going to go horizontal, vertically down or vertically up. Horizontal again, vertically down, vertically up. Let me give you an additional tip today because uh, today I'm in a very good mood. Um, just a moment, I'm going to pause my screen just to make sure that my screen is showing the right stuff. Okay, here we go. Clean this image out. The new document on my Photoshop. Okay, here we go. All right. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of an, an additional lesson. I hope you guys appreciate this information. I'm going to be drawing on this white canvas. So sometimes you see the price is going like this. It's like a staircase. It's going up. And the steps may be uneven. Some steps are longer than other steps. Some steps are very short. Some steps are very long. Okay. Conversely speaking, you may also get stuff like that starts from high and goes lower. That sucks. Why does that suck? Because you don't know for how many minutes are the candlesticks going to go sideways. If you don't know about candlesticks, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll be teaching you that as well. If you know, there's a, there might be a little bit of relearning to do because I do things a little bit, a little bit differently from a lot of other teachers, but the good news is it's not too complicated. Now, <clears throat> I 
we look at this staircase, I'm going to do, do something with this image, okay? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight this drawing, and then I'm going to rotate. I rotate this one like that, and then what do you know? Isn't this a very good, easy to spot up and down pattern? If I move this image the other way, isn't this now a very easy to spot up and down pattern? Wouldn't that be nice to trade? So sometimes I look at the chart and I tell my students, if we tilted the monitor 45 degrees to the left or to the right, it would be perfect. But as of now, we're not going to do anything with it. I think this is this is ready, you know. This looks really, really good. I might give it another 15 minutes just to make sure it loses momentum to see some price fatigue. I think this is quite good already, but I might want to wait for some price fatigue and then after that I'll do a 30 minute trade. Okay, but if I miss it, then I miss it. I also teach things like Fibonacci. I teach people how to go for and I'm I'm actually giving away a lot of good information today. If you if you uh, haven't already realized, so <clears throat> one of the things that I like to do about Fibonacci is that you know in forex how people talk about okay after making a huge drop it's going to do like thirty eight percent retrace it might do a thirty eight percent retracement if so price is going to be here if there's fifty percent retracement is going to be here sixty one percent retracement is going to be here and after any anything we are it's going to be a full loan reversal blah 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 you know what all I really care about is what's between. Or what I really care about in buying analysis trading is to catch that movement, okay? Between zero and eleven point one. Sometimes between zero and twenty three point six. Sometimes between eleven point one and twenty three point six. Just those scenarios. I don't count on it to do anything better than twenty three point six. I don't count on it. If it does great, but I don't count on it. All I look for is very precise, predictable price action. And as long as I have that, it's good enough for me. So why, why make things so complicated? Why, why so serious, like the Joker says? The Heath Ledger Joker, right? If you have that, it's good enough. And seconds from now, maybe 15 minutes from now, I'm going to see. Okay, so right now it's finishing at 11.1. And from what I can see, I think it's, it's, it's a very, very lovely trade. Let me just uh, do a couple of things right here. Oh dear, sometimes you do just get so tempted, sometimes. Oh, oh god, this is a very, very good trade. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it might go sideways for 15 minutes, and then it's going to go all the way up. It might change the previous low. And zoom out. Previous low right there. It might also push for this one. I'm so tempted to tell you. But you know what? I'm going to wait another 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let me get on the presentation. But I think this one, give it like 30, give it 45. Wow, it's going to be a huge rebound. Not a huge rebound, but enough to win the trade. Okay? Your USD. If you don't believe me, just, just go watch it later on. So I think 15 minutes from now is going to be a good time. So like at 10 o'clock, we do a half an hour call. It's going to be spot on. That's why I think so happen. Okay. So let me run you through the rest of this and, and how, how to get the training and how to get all that stuff done and how to grow 500 bucks into 79,000 or no, 76,000 so that you can, um, you know, can be in time to take that trade if you want to, to make your first winning trade. Okay. So are you guys pumped? I hope you are. All right. Let's get on with it. So. I'm showing you some really cool stuff. The good news is it's also recorded. Okay. Um, show you a simple method. Okay, now. Next thing. <clears throat> Mindset. We're, we're just about we're just about finishing soon, anyways. So just stay on a little bit. We're almost done. When's good to trade? I already showed you that. Common be fit pitfalls. The number one pitfall is mindset. The number two pitfall is mindset. The number three pitfall is mindset. Four is mindset. Five is mindset. The 
do, do you get what I'm trying to say? You can have the best methods. I can give you the most accurate strategy that I know of. But without the right mindset, if you trade like a gambler, if you go like all in on that one trade and that one trade doesn't win, is it the strategy's fault that you lost your account? Or is it your fault? If you want, if you went like 5% on your, your first trade, I don't teach people to go 5% on your first trade, but if you did, and you, you thought, heck, I'm winning so much, I'm going to go like 25% on my second trade. And after that, you fall back to 5% again because you lost that 25% trade. Damn it, I'm going to go back to 5% trades. And then you do a few 5% trades. You know, I don't know why I lost that 25% trade, but I won a couple of these ones. I'm sure I can do it again. And then after getting that break even, you go back there again and you do that 25% trade. Damn it, another loss. And then you, you, you drop back to 5% again. So what's going to happen is that you have actually a very good win-loss ratio, but your wins are much smaller than your losses to ever make a profit. Mindset problem. Another mindset problem is this. Not sticking to the rules. Giving the trade too much time. Thinking that, okay, I'm going to go super big on this trade. Because I lost the previous trades, I'm going to go super big on this trade. And all the previous trades for 5 minutes, I'm going to give this one like 10 minutes extra time. I'm going to give this one 15 minutes extra time. If my previous trade is half hours all lost, I'm going to do 2 hours in this trade. That, that trade was too much time. Number 2. If you, like, use a little bit of common sense as well. A lot of newbies, they leave their common sense in the dustbin. Just because they see me placing $500 trades, they go place $500 trades. No, don't do that. You place trades that are respected to your account size. And then when you do, you do a discipline and consistency. Sometimes you see that, okay, Julian made a trade call here. He lost that one. Let's wait till he wins. And then I'll place the, the next trade after he wins. And then, so I, 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 I lost the first one. He set, And then he set out the, the winning trade right after that. And he took the trade right after that, and then that's a losing trade. So he goes like, sucks. You know, this thing doesn't work. Why is it every damn time that I want to trade, the trade losing money? But if you look in totality, if you're taking everything, not just some things, in a larger sense, it's working out just great. So consistency. Use the advantages of probability. You know, selective doesn't work. Use use a full, you know, you use, use like consistency, discipline, and and that's going to get you in the right track. Okay, I I do see some questions here, and I will stop to answer some questions. Um, why is it a good trade? Oh, just now that one. Were we talking about a trade just now? Okay, let me show you this one. Yeah, this is setting up awesome. Oh, sweet. This is so freaking awesome. This is the previous low support level. And on top of that, also challenge this one. So I, I, I yeah, <coughs> we do this trade at the top of the hour is perfect. But this, this one might push a little bit lower. Let's see what the higher time frame is showing. It could be, no, I, you know, I think this could be a 60 second, 60 minute trade, not not even a. That is looking good at 15, so at 30. This could be awesome for half an hour. What I will do on this one is I might do a half an hour call, and if it's going sideways, I'll roll over this full hour. That's what I would do. But I want to. Uh, I'm very interested to see where does this expire in nine minutes from now. Because then, I, I for consistency's sake, I like to. Let it run out of steam. I just see the bar shortening, and then when the shortens lose momentum, then I'll take the trade. So I, I ensure that I lost momentum first before I actually go for it. And I, when I see a longer wick, it's a sign of exhaustion. And then finally, I redraw the Fibonacci. So you know, I drew it just now, 
If I can draw it again, and I find that it's, it, if it's stopping at 11, then I can catch that movement from 11.1 to 23.6. There is a possibility that the price can go back down to zero, and if it does do that within the time frame of my trade, I will simply go back in again and take even another half an hour. That's what I would do. But if I could get as close as possible to zero, that would be my best entry. <clears throat> but very often, it moves away from 11.1 .1 to 23.6. Does that answer your question? I, I covered that more in my live training. <clears throat> Let me check the uh, group in case you guys have some questions and stuff. All right, if you have questions, just ask away, okay? Because I'm just about wrapping up. And in fact, I have an FAQ document later on as well. So, so um, that's going to be quite useful for you. Uh, here we go. So as you can see, have some discipline and make you a fortune. In fact, many times, if you don't know whether the trade is valid, wait. What's the worst thing that can happen if you waited and missed a trade? Well, at least you know that the trade worked out in the way that you expected and you can wait for the next one. You know what signs to, to look out for. But many a time, newbies are just too eager to jump the gun and they and before all the conditions are met, they want to take the trade and the trade loses. And they're scared. So that's how to, I mean, I've, I've given you several scenarios and at the end of the day, let me give you one more tip as well, okay? Some of you um, are going to find that when you start to trade, your account remains at break even after two weeks, three weeks, one month, two months, break even. When I first started out, I was a losing trader. Even when I first started on Binary Lab, it's funny, before Binary Lab was called Binary Lab, it was just like a Binary Lab. No, binary trading support group okay with about nine ten people i joined no i i've been interested in trading all the years i did i did stocks i did forex and then uh you know i lost money in forex <clears throat> due to the robot trading um i i got scared because i had a margin call that happened when i had several robots running i over leveraged my account and then one faithful day there was like a uh, elections and there was a huge whipsaw movement that happened in five minutes, and all five minutes, all it took for eighty-eight thousand account to go back down to five thousand. So um, that was my bad experience in forex. And then after that, when I went, I, I went into other industries. I went to internet marketing, made some money. Uh, went to drop shipping, did some eBay stuff, made some money as well. Had some spare cash. And I thought with that spare cash, I wanna you know do something with it. Be kind of cool to get back in trading because once, like I say, once a trader, always a trader, right? So. I saw some people posting on my, my Facebook timeline, not Facebook timeline, but the general Facebook timeline. I saw people say, hey, oh, today I made money from binary options. Today I made money from binary options. It's like, damn it, these people are posting that they're making money from binary options. So what the heck is binary options? I'll take a look. So uh, they showed me a community where, where there are going to be webinars and signals given out. And I would, so I, so I thought, okay, fine. I'll just pay the money and join that signal trading group. And for two weeks, I thought, hey, this is pretty cool stuff because the trading calls were generally accurate. But, well, I also am guilty as charged that sometimes, you know, after losing one, two trades, I, I decided, okay, I'll wait for them to start winning again and I'll play some next trade. And then event, eventually it became very tiring. The most tiring thing about that group was that they never showed their charts. So I don't know exactly what they're looking at. I don't know what to look out for. And then finally I decided that, you know, um, no, okay, this group, this group of, uh, you know, idiots, I would, I would just call them idiots, um, they grew a really large group really fast, and then after two weeks, they thought, oh, you know, when, when I make a mistake, I'm making, I'm causing too many people to lose money, and then they felt bad about that, and then, and then they, they, they left. They, they just disappeared, okay? After making a whole ton of broke commissions, they disappeared, and they left, you know, uh, hundreds of us in the lurch. So I rounded up a bunch of people, um, they're interested in trading. I say, hey, you guys still want to trade buying options, right? How about let's explore it together. Let's have a little, little bit of a support group. So we use like Google Hangout. It's like a free Google uh, application that allows everyone to see each other's screens. And we did webinars. Um, not training webinars uh, because I wasn't qualified to teach. you know. But I knew a little bit about charting. 
because my mom was a stock broker, my dad was a forex broker, I knew a little bit about charting. They were traditional pen and paper chartists in the era before the x86 computer. They were using just uh, some green screen, not sure what that was. <clears throat> so they would print out the charts and they used that ruler and, and, and calculate Fibonacci ratios and draw lines and stuff. So I knew about that stuff, I, I, I shared that with the group. And then uh, over time, you know, we discovered some patterns together. And then um, that's how I escalated on. And then at that point of time, it was a bit funny though, because I was trading a $200 account. And then after some stupid mistakes, uh, during, the, during those group sessions, it fell down to 45 bucks gradually. And I was so ashamed that I had to increase my font size to hide my balance. So <clears throat> that was uh, then, and eventually, you know, because of more money I made in drop shipping, also because uh, brokers pay quite nice referral fees for generating clients for them. <clears throat> so I, I had I had uh, people signing up for brokers through my SEO and you know YouTube videos that I made, and I accumulated enough money, so I had ten thousand in commissions. I put that into my first serious trading account. I took a bonus of. of uh, 100% trading bonus. So I had 20,000 to trade with. I traded up to 45. Actually, I hit 50,000. Then, you know, all hell broke loose, kind of. It went down to like 30 something percent. Went down to, went down to, uh, you know, it went down to uh, 30 plus thousand. I traded up to 40,000 again, dinged on a little bit. Took about two months and decided that hey, you know, this is a little bit too much. Uh, all that ding dong in the price, I mean, in my account volume, I better take out some money. So at the end of the day, that account was kind of like break even. I, I did make some money because of the bonus and a little bit more. So uh, I put in ten thousand. I I probably made about another sixteen thousand, right? Because I I made some really stupid mistakes, and then with that, I I. Took that cash, went to a different broker because they they were offering better better uh, features that I wanted in my trading. And that's when I also had a better understanding. And <clears throat> what I went to say is this: some of you, when you start trading, you're gonna find that your account, um, when you start trading for a little bit of time, you're gonna find that your account is gonna remain like stagnant for a period of time. It's gonna remain like uh, it's not going anywhere. It's just going like. Up by one percent, down by two percent, up by one percent, up by uh, up by five percent. It's going to stay stagnant for a little time. But you know what? If you can keep your account at a given balance for a period of time, by the way, this is not my this is not my study. This is like my friends. Um, they're out there like drinking and making merry. I don't know what. So I'm just in here doing this uh, session with you guys. So um, if you can keep your account balance horizontal with a few tweaks. You can actually make the account make a gradual increase as well. You think about that, okay? So um, I I just turned on the video to kind of break the monotony of, of all this uh, this sharing. But I hope that's useful to you. Um, now let me get back into this, okay? So once you have a few tweaks, I'm going to give you guys a blueprint of how you can trade 500 into. 79,021 bucks, or well, actually a little bit more than that. So <clears throat> this is how you do that. Okay. Well, it's actually it's actually 10 o'clock, so how that trading? I'm doing very good. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, beautiful. I would, I would actually use the F word. <laughs> <coughs> because this, Right there was good, but it's gone up a little bit. So I'll actually place my entry. Okay, this is not this is not a perfect trade because it's gone up by a little bit already. Hmm. Yeah, it's gone up too much. If it's gone up more than eleven point one, I'm, you know, it's it's gonna hit twenty three point six really fast. And if it doesn't move past twenty three point six, it might not work out anymore. So right now, what I want to see is if I can hit 1.1 again or hit 0 again, I'm going to do it. If not, I'm not going to touch it right now on this trade, just, just since you asked on this one. <clears throat> okay, so how do we do this one? Um, okay, 
right, five hundred dollars. This is a HYIP high U investment program, but but we're not using it for that. We're just using it to I'll calculate, um, you know, what we do. So uh, I want to show you this. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Before I show you, yeah, I want to show you this one. Okay, so I'm going to show you like five hundred bucks. For 180 days to so six months, right? I'm only trading Mondays to Fridays, so they exclude the weekend automatically. Uh, weekends have no interest whatsoever. And if we made five interest per uh, five percent interest per session, um, if you win one trade, that's 0.7 percent. So you win about six trades. You are actually a little bit over five percent. You're 5.6 percent. And then if you reinvest 75 percent of what you what you uh, when and you take out 25% so is compounding okay I want to show you a payment schedule so it's a little bit more easy to, to understand so it's a little bit less than 79,000 I'm not sure where I got a number from but well, I may have made a mistake some, some part but <coughs> 76 is pretty close so after six months 15,263 percent profit I say fifteen thousand two hundred sixty-three percent profit. Is that good or great, guys? Is that good or great? Principal plus profit, you end up seventy-six thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars if you just maintain five percent per day. And then if you reach, like I said, you you're drawing twenty-five thousand, twenty-five percent, right? You're drawing twenty-five percent over time. You have taken out nineteen thousand, which is like thirty-eight times of what you initially put in. Even if you lost the fifty-seven thousand, even if the fifty-seven thousand never came, you already took out eighteen more times of what you put in. Sorry, thirty-seven more times of what you put in. Now, <coughs> here's how it works. If you start training today, we're not actually gonna start training today. We're gonna start training on Monday after Monday, maybe Tuesday, more likely Tuesday than Monday. Okay, so if you stuck to a plan of six winning trades per day. Maybe four trades. Four trades is gonna get you what? Four times, four times um, 2.8 percent. Not bad as well. Five trades, three point five percent. Not bad as well. Okay, so let's say if you had five hundred bucks, you did twenty five. It's give and take a little bit. Some days you make more, some days you make less. Some of my students make like fifteen percent, twenty percent, thirty percent one day sometimes. Um, but that's because they use larger sizes. So balance five hundred twenty five. 2594, 2694, um, 2794. We stop on Saturday, Sunday, resume again. And then with your balance at this amount, your interest target is higher. Okay? So your interest gradually grows. And after a month, you see how this adds up. You find that after a month, your account would have doubled. And then uh, your daily interest is doubled as well. Okay? And then another month, it will have doubled again, actually a bit more than double, and then your daily interest doubles again. And six months down the road, you are actually making about two thousand bucks a day, fifteen hundred bucks a day. Is that good or great? The question is, can you stick to a plan? Can you keep discipline? Can you keep all those keep your brain out of doing those newbie stuff that 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 kills you, that kills your profits? I can give you the, the, the tools, I mean, I give you the templates to use, I can give you the methods, I can give you the live training, but can you apply it? Not all of you can. Some of you may even lose your account initially. For some people, it takes time to learn. For some people, you know, if, if, you, don't, if you don't get hurt, you don't learn. But it's the same for me as well. But once you get the hang of it, how would that change your life? How would you like to get these kind of returns every day? And you know what? I don't recommend this, but if you put back everything, if you took out nothing, you put back everything, if you reinvested everything of what you got, that's what you can do in 200, in, I mean, in six months, 180 days. 270,000, 54, that's like, what, 540 times of your original investment?
by your last month, you will be making $10,000 a day. And you know, that's what I do nowadays as well, myself. That's what I do. I'm very conservative. I don't even aim. I don't even aim for that high. I don't even aim for like 5% a day. I'm just happy with 1% really. And I get these kind of amounts myself. I mean, you saw my screenshots. You saw my, my live account. I mean, you saw these trades in the background right there, right? Add those up. That's how much I'm making a day. <clears throat> this is huge. So, the next thing I want to show you, I want to share with you is that I want to tell you a bit more about Binary Lab. Binary Lab is that group that emerged from a nameless support group of 10 people. We went through free, uh, free Google Hangouts to meet cheap, which was really cheapskate uh, webinar software that hung. And after a while, you know, after we grew past 30 members, it was constantly giving problems. We had to shift. And then we went to a, a platform called Meetings Burner. It was one of the most popular um, webinar tools in the industry. And the funny thing is, Meetings Burner really burnt my meetings. It was so bad. The latency was horrible. And then after that, I moved to another one called Webinar Jam. And Webinar Jam, I don't know who the hell comes up with names for these things, but it just kept jamming. And I finally went to go to Webinar, which is what you're on right now. And did you know that for the first few months, I was using a free account. I, I was... I was so new to making money online. I was so new to making decent money. I still had a lot of debts at the time. Now I'm debt free and I've got several properties. <clears throat> Cars fully paid off, flats paid off, wear nice clothes, eat nice food. Uh, but at that time, I was using, I was creating free accounts with different email addresses month after month after month until. It got so bad that you know the free go to webinar could only seat hundred people in the webinar, and the, my webinars were getting maxed out. They were maxed out like you know hundred and something, and I would say, oh, there must be a glitch. The truth was that I didn't upgrade. So one day I finally upgraded, and now I actually pay four hundred ninety nine dollars a month, so that you guys can come on to these free webinars. Isn't that cool? So I saw this peer support group. There's another group closed down. And uh, we've been running for two and a half years. Right now, we have over 2,400 members. I'm going to be showing you my group shortly as well. And I run live webinars like this four to six times per week using GoToWebinar. I'm going to show you uh, next, like, actually, that's my last slide. I'm going to show you how to. I'm going to show you, like, uh, my group. I'm going to also look at some questions that you have right now. I'm going to go through some questions. Okay, let's see how the trades go. Okay, yeah, that one came up way too early. <clears throat> so if someone went in at the top of the hour, that wouldn't be good for a 30-minute trade, perhaps. But unless it comes alone, I'm not going to take it. Anyway, uh, sorry to digress, but you know when you do this for a while, it just gets so tempting. By the way, questions. Any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? You can ask it in the questions box. You can also ask it here. And by the way, uh, I am... I am, uh, you know, I am a Singaporean, I'm born Singaporean. My grandpa's adopted, um, he's not actually Chinese, he's Japanese, adopted by a Chinese family during the World War II. And uh, the reason why I don't speak like an ordinary Singaporean is because I, during my years as a tennis coach, I have been working a lot with international school kids. So... <clears throat> What I get is a mishmash accent that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Questions, guys, ask away. Otherwise, I'm going to run through with you in another um, page. Just make sure I get the right page. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you 
first uh, my website, which you guys may have seen. It's not updated. Um, <clears throat> treating pe more people than this right now. And these are some testimonials that people have said. This is a Malaysian guy, um, Jahaba Sadiq. Honestly, Julian Wong, it's seldom in life I come across a person who is willing to go as far as this. Take his time to teach and dedicate to a group of traders. Your coaching and motivation is awesome. This guy is amazing. I joined the Binary Lab last year and he has helped me make, uh, helped me start making steady money. I'm not even 18 yet. Okay, it's not supposed to say, say that, but, well, I think he opened up with his dad's account. Thank you so much for your time and effort in training all of us. You're awesome, Julian. Let's go get that money. And Catherine eventually became uh, my admin, so I have a couple of admins right now. Julian is down to earth, patient teacher. I knew nothing about training except I wanted to change my lifestyle. He does every session live with us and answers our questions so we can learn I also take his traits. So much knowledge on technical analysis. Thanks for all you do. Um, <clears throat> so a lot of single services, they don't have a real community. We have a real community. A lot of people post fake social media proofs that are all like computer generated. Let's say, you know, you could be reading some software thing online. I, I think if you if you have that experience, you know, just type yes, you know, in, in the questions or something. Um, because there are all these groups, right? Now these fake programs online, binary office training, the automated training solutions. And they, they show all kinds of Facebook profiles, like raving about their thing. But when you try to find these people on Facebook, you cannot find a single one. It's all fake. And I actually have someone from Thailand. I'm not sure if she's on this webinar. Let me look through the members list. Maybe she could be here. Um, Anjana. No, she's not here. Yeah. So what she did was that before she decided to work with me to open up the Thailand market, <clears throat> um, she was connecting with all the people on the testimonials and asking and asking them, you know, if I was really as good as what's claimed on the website. And he said, that's in, indeed that testimonial. And, uh, you know, it's a real deal. <clears throat> so we trade based on real market. We don't trade based on strategy. I change my method a lot to keep current with the times. But the good news is the method I, I generated about two and a half months ago is still being used today. It's the best method that I've found so far. It's very transparent. A lot of people are not transparent. And uh, McCoy Santillas says, okay, he's from Philippines. To start training with Julian a few months ago, I learned a lot from our sessions, so I admit I still have a lot to learn. Being with the Binary Lab group with Julian is the best thing that ever happened in my trading. Thanks for all your efforts in guiding us, not only through training, but also through life. More power. Eddie Del Carmen from the USA says, I'm impressed with the teaching and the videos and the fact that I'm learning from one of the best traders out there. Thank you, Julian Wong. So <clears throat> you can check out my page. There's a lot of stuff. Um, but right now I'm going to show you my group as well, Facebook. So once you, once you uh, get into my group, you're going to get to see this. So right now it's 2,427 members. And uh, so there's a get started guide. You can, there's a PowerPoint file actually. You can download that. Find where to start. Uh, you can actually refer. You can actually refer um, people also. And then, okay, like so. This guy he was doing his own. Um, he's doing his like what I talked about the compounding. So um, just just stay on track with the targets, and then you'll be fine with a spreadsheet like that. <clears throat> people ask questions um, about the indicators, about the trading. Uh, people post their results. Though I'm not sure why this guy is taking very irregular size traits. I don't recommend that. So Christmas is a little bit quiet, but otherwise, a lot of pictures are, you know, like this, okay? This guy is from Malaysia also. I met him during my Malaysian Bindi Lab meetup. It doesn't matter the amounts. Some people trade a lot, some people trade less. But the important thing is that, you know, you want to be consistent. And I think uh, he's doing quite well. So it's about five pictures here. I'm just going to look at these ones. I, I'm, I'm quite happy to see that he's doing well. Because I allow my students are. 
the Jahaba Sadiq, the same guy that gave a testimonial. So this, this guy was trading on uh, two days before Christmas. So it's it's really cool. Um, and then for events, basically you go to the events tab, and that's where you find, uh, you know, like the earlier this month. These are all the sessions over, and then. <clears throat> I'm going to be posting sessions. We'll be resuming again on the January, the the 4th and beyond, probably the 5th. How many of you are actually keen to come for a webinar? You can actually reply that in the group post or you can, you can uh, you know, uh, reply that over here. Yeah, I also see some questions. Let me go through some of your questions. At what point do you stop trading the current USD? Okay, now it's coming back down if it hits. Okay, now... Now, this is going to be very close because of the early movement. I think it's going to, anyone who did 30 minute call at 10 o'clock would be fine, should be fine. But it was not the most ideal trade. If it stopped exactly at 11, I would have done it, but I, I didn't want to touch it. <clears throat> I would say that after this one, you've actually missed the boat, okay? Because I'm not going to count on it from going beyond 23.6 to 50. It might, but, you know, I'm not going to count on it. This is like the Skype sessions, so people are are posting between, you know, when they're taking a trade, 30 minute one. Um, take chart plugin. It's Monday, you know. Are they still on holiday? No events. Okay, now it's not so active, but otherwise, yeah, I did long euro. Closing 15 minutes in the money and won. So, when, um, and the members that we have, I have so many groups, okay? Why so many groups? Because every group can only hold 300 people. So I have like seven groups right now, probably eight groups coming out somewhere. But <clears throat> um, what I meant to show you in that is that these groups have people from around the world, and at any given time, there's someone that you can trade with you as well, okay? So don't trade during lunch times. Oh yeah, remember that. Don't trade during lunch times. Any country's lunch time, don't trade. Stay away from that. Now getting back to getting back to this. Uh, also because we we've been on for quite some time already, I want to make sure that this webinar gets properly recorded. Uh, I'm also going to check out the questions. Uh, I'm going to check out some last questions. I'm going to go through some FAQs, and then um, okay, some of you gone really late. But the good news is there's going to be a replay. This is recorded. And I'll be recording that quite soon as well. Uh, I mean, I'll be uploading this quite soon as well. So, if you have any questions so far, do you have any questions? This is like your last chance, okay? Last chance to ask questions. <clears throat> Gotta wait for a minute or two. Or, or if, if there's no questions, I assume that my, my explanations were great. Um, and now, at this point of time, you know, um, a lot of you guys from Singapore and Malaysia, you've been to talks, you've been to sessions. On various kinds of trading and after attending a seminar for two hours you're presented with a hefty um, startup fee okay it's presented with a ridiculous amount not ridiculous but I mean market rate right what, what market rate uh, to join a course um, how much do you think this is worth for you if you could get if you could get like daily Webinars that show you exactly where I get to show you, like my I could, uh, where you get to see my charts and listen to my explanations, and and <clears throat> see just how to trade, and learn your own methods, and you get to plug into the experiences and share and interact with other members as well in a serious traders community. How much is that worth? Um, the accuracy of the signals. How much is that worth? So, I think you know without me saying. Uh, if I wanted to put a price on this, I could easily get away with a monthly $500 a month. I could, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I'm a nice guy and I don't need that money because I make good money trading already. So the good news is I'm going to cut straight to the chase. And uh, I've always been the guy to spoil the market. I love spoiling the market. Uh, so as you can see in the hitting, free membership offer for webinar guests only. Okay, I'm gonna make a super no-brainer, super, super easy decision. Um, 
In fact, it's going to be a no-brainer if you didn't join. So here's uh, this page is <clears throat> binarylab.net slash webinar. Okay, once again, it's binarylab.net slash webinar. I'm going to post that into the group right now. So I'm going to post that here to join the binary lab. Of course, some of you are members and recognize your faces, but if you're not a member of the binary lab and you find this extremely exciting and you want to take an opportunity of this free membership offer, go on to this link, the binarylab.net slash webinar right now. And we can go over this thing together. So congratulations if you reach this page. You're probably one of my webinar viewers right now or watching a replay. As mentioned on my binary options webinar, you're steps away from joining the binary lab binary options trader community and receiving exclusive access to my Facebook group of over 2,400 like-minded serious traders where you can interact and share ideas. You can get added to my Skype trader community where you can discuss live trade opportunities in and out of binary lab trading webinars. <clears throat> you get to learn how I trade live when I share my screen, explain my, my trade choices and take actual trades via live trading sessions held four to six times per week. And you get access to over 200 hours of archived trading webinars. You get to post your trading screenshots for advice and critique. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you like some of those archives that I'm talking about. So I have an archive in another channel of mine and all these videos are unlisted so People can't see them unless they have the link. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna pick out something really exciting. This is the one that. This was the one that. Yeah, this was the one where a member from Thailand came out to watch live. And uh, this this was the actual trades that took place. <clears throat> So, and this was a hundred percent win session. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna turn on the audio so that you guys can listen to what a real session is like. Oh, sound check, sound check, better. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that's good. So this is a really nice trade. And I'm gonna go to the point. Very, very cautious about trading. I'm trying to get as pinpoint entries as possible. All right, there's a, a little spike. That price, very tiny spike. I don't like. I'm not a big fan of this price action right now, really. So let's just see how this trade goes. But we'll get ready to double up in case it goes against us, because the recent pattern, you know, there's so many times that trade has just been working out for the first minute, or let's say the first 90 seconds, and then it just messes up. Yeah. So let's, let's see how it works out. And there are signs that it's crossing back and forth quite a little bit. <clears throat> Looking good, looking good. Let me stretch this out. I think uh, okay, okay. MACD is crossed up. It's all moving away. I've got 22 seconds left. All right, here's the countdown. So it's very slow moving, but it's a very good entry price that we got. And so that's one wing trade. I'm gonna shift to uh, the ones who are doing well. Let's see if, if New Zealand is available. No, it's not available. But let's try Aussie because Aussie might be okay. It's just breaking out the channels. It might take some time. It's the first bar out. Dude, Alan, it's going to be short. Okay, I'm, I'm going to show you. See me on the camera yet? All right, this is where people post the results. Because I want to see session. how many of you are, are, are doing well. And I'm, I'm going to leave this, I'm gonna leave this very for nice, a little while. Um, so you guys can watch these exactly results. The so I'm, I'm going to get myself a drink. I'm going to come uh, back and explain to you just how to get started some Q&A stuff as really well. Awesome. So this is what's happening. So, during my life session. This is what life session is like, okay? Mm. 
there you go. So uh, this is really good. I'm taking a <coughs> screenshot right here. Live from the cafe, Coffee Bean, Central of Bangkok. Uh, right now also with a uh, funny lab member from Thailand uh, looking over my shoulder at this one. So this is, you know, I think it must be really exciting, a big eye opener because, you know, they have never seen, the their binary option is totally a new concept in Thailand. No one knows about binary option. I'm actually seeing, making life, <coughs> life results like this, you know, within half an hour. Uh, literally making like 30,000 before someone dies. How mind blowing is that? <laughs> yes. <coughs> so, okay, two zero, two zero. All right, I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to that page on on here. And so, how do you get started? Okay, like I said, it's free. There are two ways. Because some of you, I understand, have your own trading account. So you want to use your own uh, existing broker account. And that's fine. So what you need to do is to come on this page, click on checkout with PayPal, and it's gonna it's gonna lead you to a page like this. Uh, I've actually clicked this a couple of times to show it as up. It's not 1,191, it's, it's just 397. It's 397 USD. Um, so, you know, I personally recommend that, you know, if you, the best way really is to just open a new broker account. Why? Because like I said, I get fees from brokers anyway. And uh, you can get in for free, but you can do this if you like. To, if you have a big account somewhere, and you don't want to have too many accounts to track, then just 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 uh, pay the fee. And and once I see that order in my PayPal notification, I will then uh, process you and add you to my finding app. Actually, I wouldn't do that. My my assistant's gonna be doing that. So um, when we start up in January the fourth or fifth. You're gonna get to be able to be on those daily webinars. So, uh, just getting back to that previous page. Like I said, I actually recommend <clears throat> that you can also sign up a new broker account via the Binary Lab, make a deposit, and forward the deposit confirmation email to new accounts at the binarylab.net. Because brokers pay us referral fee for each client we refer, and that keeps your membership free. Okay. To claim your free membership, click any of the broker banners below and do as mentioned above. So I have three options that are shortlisted for you today. Just pick any one that you feel comfortable or most comfortable with. Okay, one thing is very important. You have to join these brokers using the links on this page. Uh, you probably you know, find that, okay, I, I, I see pop-ups of 24 options on my YouTube all the time or I see G options in my Google search results all the time. I could just click on that, but it's not going to be the same. Why? Because it's not tracked to me. So to get your free uh, binary lab membership, it has to be from this page. Click on any one of these banners. It's going to take you to a registration page. And that is already coded to the binary lab. So that once you get started out, you will get to have, uh, you will get to have, uh, you know, your free membership as soon as we verify that. So click on any of these banners. Uh, 24 options EU regulated. I met them in Berlin. Um, they have an innovative interface. Minimum depart to have 50, possibly 200. Minimum trade is 24 bucks. Okay. So uh, in G options, popular binary brand. That's why I use reliable execution, especially during news. Minimum deposit 200 bucks. Minimum trade is five dollars uh, for trades less than five minutes. For trades longer than 10 minutes, is 25 bucks minimum. It's about the same. But um, for people with small deposits, I think this is going to be big for you guys. As in the fact that you can do $5 trades very often. Uh, part of finance is great. <clears throat> it's a new interface. It's reliable execution. Minimum deposit 250 Minimum trade $5 across the board, even for trades that are like more than 10 minutes. So uh, I've got three great options for you today. And all, all these three are very popular in my members right now. So uh, register now. You just need to click one of them and fill out the form. So you see this form, just fill in your name, your last name. In fact, you don't even have to deposit right away, although you can. You can deposit right now. Uh, or most of the time, once you do this, they're going to follow you up with an email or a courtesy call or something, and then 
and then uh, you know you can just arrange that or just do whatever is convenient basically um, but do that before January 4th but register now so that you're tracked to the binary lab and remember which email you used to sign up for that so once you've done that um, when you send an email with your when you forward a deposit confirmation uh, which could be in the form of a screenshot or an email confirmation just forward it over to this address you can even click on this one and uh, include your name and email address used for your account. Okay, I forgot to add one thing. Also, add your Facebook profile ID so that you know my admin can friend request you and add you to the group. So this is for my admin staff to verify the respective brokers. The registration was tracked to the binding last referral list. Okay, um, is it a good idea to have more than one broker? Well, absolutely, because these all these three brokers I've listed use a slightly different platform. And sometimes during news, one may not be working, and then, or and let's say another one may be offering a better price. Okay, and then uh, some popular question and answers: How many trade signals can I receive per day? Binary Lab is not a signal service. Although trades are explained and taken live, the purpose is to help you learn to develop your own trading style. Signals are not sent via email or SMS. Instead, you need to be on the webinar to watch these live trading calls. Plus, besides the fact. If these were sent out by email or SMS and these were two minute trades, you will not be able to take a single one of them because they'll all end up late. What is a good starting amount to trade binary options successfully? <clears throat> I never recommend the bare minimums. While it may be the only option for some, I personally believe that it's the simplest spell for disaster. I continue to suggest in my videos and webinars that people should invest enough so that the broker's minimum trade becomes no more than 2%, preferably 1% of the account's total balance. In 24 option, as, as I've clicked just now, minimum trade is $24 as I last check. Your deposit needs to be uh, 1200 bucks and above to keep to the 2% rule. Will I face problems with withdrawals once I've achieved a profit or decided to take back my investment? The main reason why traders or noise makers on forums have faced issues with withdrawals is because of ignorance of standard broker practices with regard to account verification. The moment that you join a broker account and fund your account, uh, many of you are going to notice that your account is going to get barred from trading after a period of time. And um, it's very simple. All you need to do is send in your passport and um, you know, proof of deposit. Sometimes you use a credit card. They're going to ask you to scan the front and back of your credit card, but you can hide your your first twelve digits, no problem. Um, and that's just verification. Okay, uh, utility bill also as proof of address, the standard stuff, and make sure that the account is in the same name as the the <clears throat> the card that's used to fund it. So very important. Uh, secondly, for bonuses, um, if you receive bonuses. Um, you know, you need to pay attention to the conditions for bonuses. Some of the brokers, they have a 30% uh, trade turnover. You need, you need to trade 30 times of the bonus received. Some brokers, you need to trade 40% of, of the, uh, the bonus received. Um, the good news is, is that with, with uh, Binary Lab, many of these brokers, we have special arrangements where you, you only need to trade less than what other people have to trade. Okay? But you still need to be aware of what they are and next you need to be aware of broker specific terms and conditions so G options has a policy that customers must trade 10 times for their account deposit to be able to withdraw without inactivity fees the good news is 10 times is usually achieved within two weeks of trading 90 minutes per day at the recommended amount of risk exposure which is about one two percent per trade are the methods sure win or can I lose money the methods I teach are over 70 percent accurate but it depends is an average over time. There are the days where the price action is abnormal and after two to three consecutive losses, I may change to a different time frame method to place a larger trade or to end the session early. Let's see how that trade would have worked out, by the way. <clears throat> it would have actually been a borderline win, very borderline win. But like I said, I wouldn't have taken that trade because it was not 11.1%. But it would have been a borderline win, literally by a few micro pips. I want to see just how micro. So this one started out open at 109.225 and it closed at, my goodness, what is this one? The next, uh, this one closed at 109.228. You would have won by three 
oh my god, like tree nano pips, or micro pips, whatever you call it. But it's a win is a win, right? So um Okay, so sometimes I end the session early and there are the days where my students and I get 100% win over as many as 9 trades. The good news is that in binary options trading, you only need to be 60% accurate to make a profit of more than 1% per day. And sometimes the difference between 60% and 70% accurate is 10%. And the difference between 70% and 80% is you know, like 20%. So um, it's like, <clears throat> it's, 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 um, it's quite crazy actually. If you're 80% accurate, as long as you can be making like 80% a day, you know, you, if you did the sums, um, I, I'm not going to do the, the calculations now because we've been going on for quite long already. But if you just calculate based on, based on let's say, you know, 10 trades, uh, if you win every, 10 trades are $100 each. If you win, you win 70. If you lose, you lose 100. So if you lost four times, uh, okay, heck, let's just do it. <laughs> so if you, if you won six trades, right, six trades at 70, dollars profit per trade you win 420 minus the four losing trades whoops minus four losing trades then you actually make 20 bucks and 20 bucks based on your account size if you're doing hundred dollar trades if a hundred is two percent so your accounts at five thousand you made like 20 bucks which is like barely nothing barely nothing really but let's say if you if you what if you won um what if you won 70 percent so you have 70 times 7 which is 490 minus the three losing trades of 300 you have a profit of 190 divided by 5000 that is 3.8 percent so we have from break even almost break even to 3.8% profitable just when you go from 60 to 70% accurate and what's more is that if you're 80% accurate you get 8 times of 70 when you win a $100 trade 70 each um, 560 minus the 2 times that you lose that's 360 <clears throat> so 360 uh, is your profit Divided by 5,000, that's 7.2%. Isn't that insane? From 3.8 to 7.2, I mean, from break even to 3.8 to 7.2, just by, you know, just by a small tweak, right? And then let's say if you have zero loss, you have all wins, you get 10 straight wins. That's like 700 divided by, you know, your account size, that's 14%, you know, times. 14%, isn't that awesome? So, um, final question. Uh, is there a managed binary options trading service? I get asked this all the time, especially from Asia. So, <clears throat> I seriously look into it. I, I research a lot, but I found there's no decent solution for this request. Executing trades itself has latency. L latency means delay time. Trade cloning services also have latency. Worse, different brokers may have slightly different price feed. So for my preferred trade duration is two minutes, that this could be a difference between profit and loss just because the trade entry already takes three seconds, the cloning relay time takes two seconds, and then the execution by the managed account takes another three seconds. So the total delay as much as eight seconds. Don't think of all these easier and faster ways. Buying your options as it is, is already very, very easy. Okay, It's not super easy, but it's easy. It's even a lot of kinds of trading. You don't have to worry about a lot of things. You don't have to calculate the lot size, the stop loss, and all that stuff. You don't have to fret for hours. Let's start now. What are the timings of my sessions? Um, in based on Singapore time, usually 9.30 a.m. So that's an Asian session. Sessions are usually about one hour long. So that's 90 minutes. Uh, London session, around 4.30 p.m. Singapore time. So, um, And then New York session is about 9.30 p.m. Sessions are selected based on market behavior. There are parts of the year when New York sessions are generally better and times when Asian sessions outperform the London and New York sessions, for example, December 2015. And these webinars are posted in the events tab of the, the Facebook group my group I'm in. And during, uh, just before the webinar is going to start, I'm going to post these links in my Skype group most of the time. Sessions resume like 4th or 5th of January. 
So that's basically it. And we have come to the end of this webinar. I'm going to just check really quick if there's any questions. I'm going to answer them now. If not, we're pretty much done. So um, we're just going to check this one out. If there's no questions, we are pretty much done. And I thank you guys for being a great audience. I look forward to having as many of you on board on the Binary Lab. And I'm also going to check on this section if anyone has <coughs> asked anything else. Do you monitor the 15 minutes? Yes, I do. What times the training sessions? I answered that question. Uh, okay, great. So uh, replays are going to be sent out. Going to be uploading this one. And uh, if you need to watch this again, if you came in late, um, you, know, you get to watch this again. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the sessions. And you guys have been a great audience. Goodbye.